Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick look at something called LibreOffice which is at a new version. LibreOffice 6 has been released and uh, if you are looking for an equivalent to um, you know Microsoft Word, uh, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, LibreOffice is just that. It's a 260 megabyte download so it's a big chunk of software but it is worth it if you do not want to spend money on the real deal Microsoft Office or an Office 365 subscription or um, basically you don't really need to have that you just are looking at something that could do the job as a you know just to write a letter for example or do some basic um, you know uh, spreadsheet stuff LibreOffice has that available so what comes with LibreOffice well when we look at the list of software in it LibreOffice 6 comes with uh, something called Base, which is the equivalent of Access. It has Calc, which is the equivalent of Excel. Draw, which is kind of a paint program. Impress, which is a PowerPoint. Math, with a, which is a kind of scientific math type software. Writer, which is an equivalent of Word. And it uh, is quite good. So um, I will post the link to this website in the description below the video. But uh, this is a very, very nice piece of software if you want to have it. It's totally free. And uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what it looks like. So here we have the equivalent of a writer. So this is the equivalent of, um, you know, my Microsoft Word. We have uh, Calc here, which is the equivalent of Excel. And we have a PowerPoint here that is, a, of course, the Impress, which is equivalent of PowerPoint. So you could see that it has pretty much all the tools. It has com somewhat some compatibility with the real deal Office Suite. So you can save in, you know, a PowerPoint presentation. You can save in a Word document. It will open. I sometimes do this. It works quite well. Uh, but of course, you got to be careful because if you're a professional user, if you're someone that needs to uh, share documents with a lot of people that have the real office it might not be for you but for most people this will actually do the job so check it out it's available at um, libreoffice.org and it's the s number six version of libreoffice um, just one note to add because some people uh, every time I talk about libreoffice say oh well I use open office and the reason why I do not recommend OpenOffice anymore is because there's no more development in OpenOffice. Pretty much everybody that was working on OpenOffice now works on uh, LibreOffice. And the thing is, um, OpenOffice has some security flaws, has some problems as we go on in time. So I don't recommend OpenOffice anymore. Um, and I do recommend that you move on to LibreOffice. One negative sign to LibreOffice, it is a little heavy. It is, um, you know, when you use it and when you uh, do the transition between uh, the apps, it is a little sluggish. You could see that uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, maybe that's one of the negative sides to it. Um, and it seems, you know, I, I have the impression that Microsoft Office actually is faster when you ask for things. But still, this should do the job and it's totally free. So check it out, LibOffice version 6, now available for everyone to download. Just get on this page and download now. You enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.